Here, I have a sketch with an image of a curve created using a B-spline. I'll replicate this curve by creating a separate sketch on the right plane. Activating the spline tool from the command manager, clicking to place points at each end, along with locations where the color changes on the curve in the spline image, and hitting escape to finish the command. From here, I can modify the shape in a couple of ways. First, I'll click on the spline to select it and click and drag the spline handles on the control points to approximately match the shape I'm looking for. Additionally, I can exert control over the shape by right-clicking on the spline, selecting Display Control Polygon, and clicking and dragging the polygon handles. By using these approaches together, you'll be able to make more complex splines using less control points, which leads to smoother curves. With my shape created, I'll select it, enable Show Curvature from the Property Manager, set the scale to 25, the density to 250, and when I click OK, you can see how the curve displays a series of lines exerted perpendicularly along its path with longer lines corresponding to areas of higher curvature and shorter lines corresponding to areas of lower curvature. When I select the spline, notice also that the Maintain Internal Continuity checkbox is enabled in the Property Manager. This is useful for creating smooth blends between spans by keeping curvature continuity throughout your curve. However, it does constrain the curve and can lead to issues when manipulating it. For instance, if I move one of the spline handles on the second control point too much, the spline can become unresolvable. However, if I choose not to maintain internal continuity and modify the handle in the same way, I can do so with less chance of the spline breaking. This is because disabling the internal continuity makes the spline easier to manipulate, but unfortunately, I wouldn't have the curvature continuity I'd need to produce a high-quality surface model. Given the mathematics that drive them, B-splines are particularly useful when interpolating through points to create a curve. Let me show you. I'll switch over to a part where I have a sketch containing two identical series of points with a style spline running through the first series. As you can see, the style spline doesn't do a good job of creating a curve that smoothly runs through all the points. However, if I activate the spline tool to create a B-spline, and click through each of the points, you can see how a curve is generated that runs through these points smoothly. By placing points in specific areas, this can help you create a mathematically defined and precise curve. More flexibility over sketches is typically preferred when creating surface models, however. For this reason, you'll often create sketches using style splines, which I'll take a closer look at in the next lesson.